primary health care is so important. There's a saying that says, prevention is better than cure. And that is where we start, with primary health care. Not everybody can afford a medical aid. That is just the reality of today. I chose the public sector because my parents didn't have money for me to go and study at that time. I also loved working with people. That is what I always wanted to do. I started when I was 17 years old, fresh from the trick. Now I realized that nursing was actually a calling. It was, it was meant to be like that. I was never meant to go and study something else. I was meant to do nursing. The challenges here is that resources, whether it is equipment, whether it is manpower, I think manpower is the biggest um, challenge for us. The community is big, the community, and communities grow every day. Babies are born every day. I don't like to say that we are overworked. We love what we're doing, but we just need the bodies also to be there. Today, I don't see that um, our youngsters are really interested in working for the public sector because they think that we are overworked and underpaid. Most of my clients are living on the streets and um, they don't have money to come to the clinic. There were times where I had to um, load them in the car and bring them to the clinic. Sister Cook is driven. She needs something for a client now. She will pick up the phone. I need something for the client now. We have to do it immediately because she wants to sort out the client right now. Um, even if someone has to come back for medication, for example, and she picks up that they missed the appointment, she jumps into her own vehicle without even... And I always remind her, please don't go alone because it's, it, it might be unsafe. But she'll just jump into a car and drive off to wherever to go and find the client to make sure that they get the treatment that um, they need. To me, integrity is about honesty and being an advocate for the clients. So she is that advocate for the clients. This is just this positive energy about her um, that rubs off on everyone else around her. So like they say, um, leave a little sparkle wherever you go. So she's that sparkle. That joy at the end of the day, when you know you've done something well during the day. And a client says thank you to you. That is the cherry on top. If a doctor and a nurse can't work together, then it's the patient care that suffers. This clinic is a very tiny clinic. This clinic concentrates on mother and child health and on TB and HIV. Sister Cook will see a patient, for example, with something outside of her scope of practice uh, and she will phone me and find out what she should do. Because she is so passionate and so dedicated, she wants to help everyone and she will make a plan. She will just make a plan to help everyone. Waking up every morning, knowing that what I'm doing is going to make a difference. That is what motivates me. Sister Cook is really compassionate. I can't even describe how amazing she is. Um, reliable, trustworthy. I can't, can't put her into one word. She's just incredible. Perfect, she's a perfect nurse. <laughs> the community needs us. Look what we've accomplished in this two years. Just making an example with COVID. Everybody came on board. And without us, who knows where we would have been.